There once was a woman who had three daughters, of whom the eldest was named One Eye, because she had only one eye in the middle of her forehead. The second had two eyes, like other people, and she was called Two Eyes. The youngest had three eyes, two like her second sister, and one in the middle of her forehead like the eldest, and she bore the name of Three Eyes. Now, because little Two Eyes looked just like other people, her mother and sisters could not endure her. They said to her, "'You are not better than common folks. With your two eyes, you don't belong to us.' So they pushed her about, and threw all their old clothes to her for her to wear, and gave her only the pieces that were left to eat, and did everything they could to make her miserable. It so happened that little Two Eyes was sent into the fields to take care of the goats, and she was often very hungry, although her sisters had as much as they liked to eat. So one day she seated herself on a mound in the field, and began to weep and cry so bitterly that two little rivulets flowed from her eyes. Once, in the midst of her sorrow, she looked up and saw a woman standing near her, who said, what are you weeping for, little two eyes? I cannot help weeping, she replied, for because I have two eyes, like other people, my mother and sisters cannot bear me. They push me about from one corner to another, and they make me wear their old clothes and give me nothing to eat but what is left, so that I am always hungry. Today they gave me so little that I am nearly starved. Dry up your tears, little two eyes, said the wise woman. I will tell you something to do which will prevent you from ever being hungry again. You only have to say to your own goat, little goat, if you're able, pray deck out my table and immediately there will be a pretty little table before you full of all sorts of good things for you to eat, as much as you like. And when you have had enough, and you do not want the table any more, you need only say, Little goat, when you are able, remove my nice table, and it will vanish from your eyes. Then the wise woman went away. Now, thought little two eyes, I will try if what she says is true, for I am very hungry. So she said, Little goat, if you are able, pray, deck out my table. The words were scarcely spoken, when a beautiful little table stood really before her. It had a white cloth and plates and knives and forks and silver spoons. And such a delicious dinner smoking hot as if it had just come from the kitchen. Then little Two Eyes sat down and said the shortest grace she knew, Pray God be our guest for all time, amen, before she allowed herself to taste anything. But, oh, how she did enjoy her dinner! And when she had finished, she said, as the wise woman had taught her, Little goat, when you're able, remove my nice table. In a moment, the table and everything upon it had disappeared. "'That is a pleasant way to keep house,' said Little Two Eyes, and felt quite contented and happy. In the evening, when she went home with the goat, she found an earthenware dish with some scraps which her sisters had left for her, but she did not touch them. The next morning she went away with the goat, leaving them behind where they had been placed for her. The first and second times that she did so, the sisters did not notice it. But when they found it happened every day, they said to one another, "'There is something strange about little Two Eyes. She leaves her supper every day, and all that has been put for her has been wasted. She must get food somewhere else.' So they determined to find out the truth. And they arranged that when Two Eyes took her goat to the field, One Eye should go with her to take particular notice of what she did, 
and discover if anything was brought for her to eat and drink. So when Two Eyes started with her goat, One Eye said to her, I am going with you today to see if the goat gets her food properly while you are watching the rest. But Two Eyes knew what she had in her mind. So she drove the goat to the long grass and said, Come, One Eye, let us sit down here and rest, and I will sing to you. One Eye seated herself, and not being accustomed to walk so far, or to be out in the heat of the sun, she began to feel tired. And as little Two Eyes kept on singing, she closed her one eye and fell fast asleep. When Two Eyes saw this, she knew that One Eye could not betray her. So she said, Little goat, if you're able, come and deck my pretty table. She seated herself when it appeared and ate and drank very quickly, and when she had finished, she said, Little goat, when you are able, come and clear away my table. It vanished in the twinkling of an eye, and then Two Eyes woke up One Eye and said, Little One Eye, you are a clever one to watch goats, for while you are asleep they might be running all over the world. Come, let us go home. So they went to the house, and Little Two Eyes again left the scraps on the dish untouched, and One Eye could not tell her mother whether Little Two Eyes had eaten anything in the field, for she said to excuse herself, I was asleep. The next day the mother said to Three Eyes, You must go to the field this time and find out whether there is anyone who brings food to Little Two Eyes, for she must eat and drink secretly. So when Little Two Eyes started with her goat, Three Eyes followed and said, I'm going with you today to see if the goats are properly fed and watched. But Two Eyes knew her thoughts, so she led the goat through the long grass to tire Three Eyes, and at last she said, Let us sit down here and rest, and I will sing to you, Three Eyes. She was glad to sit down, for the walk in the heat of the sun had really tired her, and as her sister continued her song she was obliged to close two of her eyes and they slept, but not the third. In fact, Three Eyes was wide awake with one eye, and heard and saw all that Two Eyes did. For poor little Two Eyes, thinking she was asleep, said her speech to the goat, and the table came with all the good things on it and was carried away when Two Eyes had eaten enough. And the cunning Three Eyes saw it all with her one eye. But she pretended to be asleep when her sister came to wake her and told her she was going home. That evening, when Little Two Eyes again left the supper they placed aside for her, Three Eyes said to her mother, I know where the proud thing gets her good eating and drinking. And then she described all she had seen in the field. I saw it all with one eye, she said, for she had made my other two eyes close with her fine singing, but luckily the one in my forehead remained open. Then the envious mother cried out to poor little two eyes, You wish to have better food than we, do you? You shall lose your wish. She took up a butcher's knife, went out, and struck the good little goat in the heart, and it fell dead. When little Two-Eyes saw this, 